don't like this video. Um, life's thrown us a shitter, I guess. to make this video not because of the actual video but before we get into the video I just wanted to say <laughs> basically we've been through a bit of a shit time um, to put it lightly me and Anne have both been struggling not not as a relationship to be fair our relationships probably never been stronger I think it's the strongest it's been but we've been struggling with something I'm not going to go into it just yet, I don't feel ready to talk about it to a lot of people just yet but there are some people that do know what's happened and I just wanted, well, I was nervous to come on and make a YouTube video I've been, I've been nervous to post on any sort of social media, I've been completely come off my Instagram I've not been posting on um, Facebook, I've not, been, I've not been active on any social media platform for the past few weeks the reason being is I've been nervous to do so because there is a lot of people, there's not a lot of people, there are people that do know what's happened in my aunt's life recently and not just my aunt's life, I mean that there's that and then there's other things that have been going off, it's just been a whole load of crap <laughs> basically and there are people that do know to the extent of what, what's been going on and I was nervous to be active on social media. I've been, I have been—I was nervous to post on, on Instagram to make YouTube videos because I don't want people to see that as me being over what's happened. I didn't want people thinking that I'm okay with what's happened because I'm not. <laughs> but saying that, I think Everybody deals with things completely differently. Some people do find it easier to just shut off from the world. Some f people find it easier to write about. Some people find it easier to just like sit and mong and do nothing but be. And for those of you that don't know, a lot of you do. Um, I'm a creative person. Um, it's in my blood. I, I'm a trained actor. It is what I do, I, I like to be creative. Being creative for me is a bit of, it, it's a release, it's a way to get a, get away um, from everything. And I guess it's my way of coping and my way of, I don't know. I just, I don't want people thinking that I'm here being all happy and bubbly on social media and that mean that I'm okay and I'm not still dealing with everything that's going on. So yeah. <laughs> Do I want to say anything else? I guess I should also mention that me saying all this isn't big. I don't want people messaging me being like, oh my god, I hope you're okay. What's been going on? Because at the minute I'm not ready to talk about it. And I would hope that people would, would respect that I don't want to speak about it at the moment. But saying that, I will 1 million percent be speaking about it because I think it's a subject that doesn't get spoken about enough. It's a subject that I feel really passionately about and it's something that I 100% want to raise more awareness about. So if that means me opening up and telling you my story, my aunt's story, then I'm going to do that <laughs> because in no way, shape or form are me an aunt embarrassed or ashamed about what's happened. But yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> so, I think that's everything I wanted to just say before I get into the video. Just to sum up, I probably am going to become more active on social media again because I enjoy being active on social media and Instagram and things like that. Um, I'm probably going to make more YouTube videos now, but the main thing I wanted to say is that isn't me not caring about what's happened and that isn't me forgetting about what's happened or moving on um, it's just a way of me releasing some creativity and um, it, it helps me and yeah without further ado let's just get on with today's 
video. So, as you can tell, I am in this sort of state of despair. <laughs> my hair really needs washing, my skin is horrific. I've had to take my nails off because of lockdown and my nail salon shutting. I, I just feel gross. There's a whole host of grossness happening and I need to sort my life out. <laughs> so, today's video is going to be a bit of a glow up. Um, my first step is to finish my coffee and then I'm going to go in the shower, wash my hair because God knows does it need it. Probably I might even do a hair mask just to give it a bit of an extra zhuzh. I'm going to do a bit of skincare, face mask, I'm going to shave because you know, it's winter girls. We don't do it as often as we should. I might do my makeup, I'm not sure yet. Um, I think after I have exfoliated, face mask, cleaned, cleansed, toned, all that jazz, I think I might just give my face a bit there. But if it gets to it and I wanna put some makeup on, that's what I'm gonna do. Because today is all about me, I'm having a self-care day. And yes, I'm gonna go jump in the shower and I will be back with you shortly. I am out of the shower, I am clean, finally I am shaved, I am exfoliated and I'm already feeling more human which is always a positive. So I'm going to be keeping my hair like this for probably the majority of this video for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I prefer to let my hair dry naturally rather than using heat on it and two, I have not been to the hairdresser's for a long time. <laughs> I was due to go the week we went into lockdown 3.0 so my roots are just they're just not okay so we're not getting those on camera and the third reason is because obviously I'm going to be doing a face mask that kind of thing and um, some skincare and I don't want to get my hair all involved and stuck to my face and stuff so I'm giving it up out of the way letting it dry on top of my head but just before I go into anything else I just wanted to run through the things that I used um, in the shower just in case you are wondering so first thing I did was wash my hair and as you know, I get Birchbox every month, which is one of my favourite things because it lets me try out a whole bunch of different products. I did say that I was going to be doing a series on those, but as I mentioned earlier, life hasn't been brilliant, so um, I kind of came off social media, so I've not been keeping up with those. I will try and get back on um, review reviewing each Birchbox every month, but I have used a few things that I've got in a few recent ones, so I'll just go through those. So the first thing I used was... So this is the exfoliating jelly shampoo um, and this apparently is a shampoo and it deep cleans, purifies, rebalances and soothes sensitive, itchy or oily scalps. I mean I've got quite dry hair, I don't really get greasy hair very often luckily, however oddly on the other side my scalp does sometimes get really oily and really irritated so um, I thought this would be a good 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 product to try. Obviously I can't give my full review on it and the effectiveness of it um, just yet because I've still got my hair in a towel and I've not dried it, that kind of thing. However, what I will say is although it's a shampoo, for me it didn't really feel like it actually cleaned my hair. I did have to go in afterwards with my normal shampoo just to make it feel like I've properly cleaned it. I don't know about you but I prefer shampoos that really lather up and get really soapy and that, that to me that just feels like I'm properly cleaning my hair whereas this didn't lather. It does have the tiny little like exfoliating bits in it so I would say make sure you do thoroughly wash your hair like rinse your hair through after you've used this otherwise you're going to have those little bits still in your hair. But I mean it felt really good when I was massaging it in it did really feel like I was getting down to the scalp and really cleaning the scalp so on that respect liked it can't give you a full review because obviously I haven't dried my hair. Like I said, I didn't feel like that shampoo really cleaned my hair so I wanted to go in with my normal stuff. Then I, from the same brand, went in with a hair mask. This is the Amica uh, Nourishing Hair Mask, I think it's called. I'm going to be honest, I really like this. See, so again, I can't give a full review because I haven't dried my hair and see what it's like in once it's dry. But the feel of it was really nice. and um, So I probably left it on for a good 15 minutes. It does say to only leave it on for 5 to 7 minutes but... I don't know about you, I always over compensate for things like that. But yeah, when I washed it off, my hair did feel really soft, it didn't feel drying at all. So yeah, 
thumbs up from that so far then i have an exfoliating glove which i use every time in the shower just to give myself a little zhuzh and i also today used i don't know this brand at all again i got this in a birch box and um, but i really like it it is i believe it's blench creme <laughs> yeah so i I think it's called Blanche Creme as you can see. It's just a exfoliator uh, just for your whole body. I really like this. My legs feel super smooth, like everywhere feels pretty smooth. So I um, would definitely recommend this. So that's pretty much, obviously I shaved and washed. I don't even know what body wash I'm using at the minute. I think it's just one from like Asda or something, it's nothing special. So now it is time for the old face. I did actually wash my face in the shower as well and at the minute I'm um, pretty much all my skincare at the moment is from the body shop. I don't always use body shop, it's just what I'm using at the moment and it seems to be working really well for me so I thought I'd stick with it. So the first thing that I've used today is my face wash which is the vitamin E just, I think it's just like a cleansing face wash. I would highly recommend it. doesn't leave my face feeling really dry, which some cleansers can do. I particularly find like the foam cleansers, they make my face feel really dry afterwards, but this is quite hydrating and quite moisturising. So we'd definitely recommend this. I forgot a step, so we're just gonna backtrack slightly, apologies. <laughs> so before I used the face wash, I did exfoliate my face as well because I wouldn't recommend using a body exfoliator on the face because it probably will be a little bit too harsh. So I again use the Body Shop and this is the Vitamin C um, Liquid Peel. Um, this I absolutely love. This was recommended to me by a friend that I have that does body shop at home. You basically just pump a little bit on your, on your hands, rub it in, and as you're rubbing it in, I don't know if what comes off is skin. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but as you're rubbing it into your, in your, your face, it kind of crumbles and it makes it feel like all the crap that you've got on your face or like the dead skin particles and stuff are literally just peeling off your face so maybe that is what it genuinely is as it is called a liquid peel so who knows but it works and I love it so we're definitely recommend um right uh, uh have I just broken it oops so that is everything that I have done so far should I put the light on we're getting a bit dark let me try that's probably better, isn't it? Sorry, should have done that earlier. So next up, I'm going to do a bit of a face mask. I don't feel like you have to stick to the same face mask every time. I like to stick to the same skincare so my skin gets used to it, but face masks is a face mask. Correct me if I'm wrong, you might, it might be better if you use the same one, but I don't find that it really makes a difference. I am using this Sand in Sky. This is a exfoliating clay mask. I haven't got any, like instructions on how to use this. I'm gonna assume that it's just one of those ones that you put on the way to try and wash it off. I don't know. Or is it? But that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do it as a normal face mask and hope for the best, I think is the answer. So I'm just gonna grab a mirror. To apply my face mask, especially like clay ones or um, ones that you have to actually put on, not sheet masks, I tend to use a brush for instead of my fingers. Something in me says I shouldn't really be putting my fingers in the mask to put on my face. I don't know. Let's just give this a go, shall we? I'm gonna assume this is just like a normal. Yeah, this is, I would assume this is gonna dry on my face. I'm not gonna lie to you, it doesn't smell the best. This is gonna sound really stupid because it's a clay mask, but it kind of smells like clay. It's making you like, <coughs> wanna cough. <laughs> and should I be massaging it in? Cause it has got the little exfoliating like particles, like thing. Slap it on, hey? Oh no, I've got it in my hair. Oh, Polly. I think, I don't think I can get much more on my face now. Yeah, I'm not sure because it's got exfoliating things if I should have been rubbing it in my face or whether I should have applied it with that. Is it gonna dry? I don't know. How long do I leave it on for? I don't know. I guess I'll leave it for a little while and come back to here when I think it's time to wash it on. Okay, so I've had this on, I would say for about 20 minutes now and it's definitely starting to dry as you would expect a normal clay mask to. It's good though, it doesn't feel too... Some of them can make you like feel like you have to talk like this, I can't really speak. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, because obviously it is drying, I don't want it to start crumbling all over me and all over my dressing room. So I'm going to head to the bathroom, I'm going to wash this off, but before I wash it off I'm going to give it a bit of a, a massage 
in like the places where I tend to get most dry skin. Then just wash it off with warm water. Back in a minute. Okay, so I am back. I have washed that off my face. Two things I did do is I did before I washed it off, just massaged it into my face and as I first thought it did just start crumbling off my face into my sink. So then I just wet my fingers and I started massage massaging it into my skin with wet fingers and it turned into this sort of milky kind of exfoliaty texture. You know, that's the technical terms. So that worked really well and I felt like I could get really into my pores um, and my skin feels amazing now. So I would 100% recommend this. Uh, I think I might even buy the full size version because I loved it. Next up is cleansing and toning and like an idiot I've run out of my little cotton pads which I usually use for my cleansing and toning. However, I do have cloth. <laughs> Bless me. However, I do have this little cloth from the body shop and I have opened it, so apologies, the packaging is here. Um, however, it is a luxury facial flannel, a softer way to cleanse. It's like elasticated, kind of spongy, kind of plasticky feel. It's definitely not plastic, but that's what I like. It's, it's like it's stretchy, like it's elasticated and it's I don't know how to describe it, but it, it, it's not your standard flannel. It also does say that you can use it for cleanser. So I think what I'm going to do is just use this um, to apply my cleanser and my toner as I would use a cotton pad. I don't know if I should be using this, but we've, we've not got any other options. So this is what we're just going to have to use. So cleanser, I am using the Vitamin E range cleanser. It's a cream cleanser, again, from Body Shop. Uh, I absolutely love this cleanser. I've used this cleanser and toner combination for for ages, to be honest. Um, and even when I spoke to my friend who does the body shop, these were the ones that she recommended without knowing that I already used these. So obviously they work for a lot of people. Give it a bit of a shake. And oh, okay. I am um, so it's it, it it's come out already. Uh, so I'm just going to take it on the, oh my god, this is going everywhere. I won't usually use this much, but I've um, got another option. So I'm just, oh my god, what's going on? Stop. So I've just popped it on the corner of this. And um, this is a bit harder to use than a cotton pad, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so I'm just going to blob it. Um, this is way too much than I would usually use. Wouldn't recommend using this much because you don't need to, but it came out and it's still coming out now. Um, so we're, we're rolling with it. But you know what, my skin did need a good, a good scene too. So I'm just going to use this corner to apply everything that was on the little cloth. So now that is all pretty much in the skin. So again, I'm using the vitamin E range, um, but this time it is the toner. So what I do is usually again on the cotton wool pad, uh, just tip some on a bit on you don't need too much and then uh, just wipe it in like upward motions and I'm just going to put a little bit more on just for my other side oh okay my skin feels bloody brilliant not gonna lie to you this would be a normal point where i would go in with just a standard moisturizer i tend to use um simple moisturizer however because like i said my face and my skin has needed like extra rehydration beyond no other i am going to use um another birch box special and uh, this excuse me one moment as i was saying this is the glam glow thirsty mud hydrating uh, treatment this i believe you put this on all over your face flying evenly everywhere kind of let it sit there for about 10 to 20 minutes and then you can either rinse it off or you can massage it in to your skin so it really gets in there deep so it's kind of like a face mask kind of like a moisturizer bit of both so that's why i thought this would be good i'm just going to pop this on and this is going to be the last thing i do so I'm not going to pop too much on because my skin has had a lot of product on it today. Just going to apply an even layer. 
all over my face as I would a normal moisturiser. There you go, it's all over my face. I'm just gonna let that kind of sit. I think I might pick out a nail colour. Probably won't do my nails on camera because who wants to watch me paint my nails? But yeah, I think that is that for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me whilst I kind of talked through how I've made myself feel a bit better. I'm gonna go and brush my hair because don't want it to dry like this because it will get into a big tangly knotty mess and then I'll be back to square one. <laughs> so I'm gonna go sort my hair out, let that air dry. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, just want to reiterate the fact that because I'm posting on social media and because I'm making YouTube videos, that does not mean that I'm being insensitive to what's happened. I'm still thinking about that every single minute of the day. I'm not embarrassed to say that I'm not fully okay. I'm, you know, <laughs> taking each day as it comes. Like I said, I don't want any sort of comments from anybody being like, I, I don't know. I'm just nervous about posting this video. <laughs> I'm just nervous about going back on to social media in case people get the wrong idea. But it's what makes me happy and it's what's helping me. Enough of that. Thank you again for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you don't already, please do subscribe to mine and Ant's channel, Barbella. We would be super grateful. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and we will see you very soon. Bye.